video I'm going to show you how to make a pattern overlay white. So if you purchased a pattern overlay from my Etsy shop Paper Cravings or from one of the uh, online shops that I've listed in the designer resources book that you can download in one of the other lessons of this e-course or if you've created your own overlay and you just want to make it white there's a quick way to do it so all you need to do is go to your file where you've saved it. If you use the search bar you'll be able to quickly find the overlay. Make sure that you're using an overlay layer which is an overlay file sorry which is a PNG file type. So then once you've found your file just left click and drag to bring it into Photoshop and then press enter. So I've got my pattern but it's currently black. To make it white all I need to do is go create a new layer, hide my pattern layer, go to the paint bucket tool and I'm going to make it white. So if I go 255, 255, 255, I just press tab to go to the next um, section in this menu. It'll now make it white. So the color code for white is 255 for RGB or 6Fs. And then select OK. Make sure that foreground is selected, which means your canvas is going to fill with this white color here. And then just left click and it's now white. So if I want to make my overlay layer white, I just need to click on this white layer that we just added, go right click, create clipping mask. So now my overlay layer is white. The reason I don't use white when I'm creating my overlays is because it's a bit difficult to see against this transparent background, which is represented by white and gray squares. So all of these areas here are transparent. So if I now want to save this as a white overlay, I just go file, save as, rename it. So if I go medium, Oop, there it is, 56 is my name of this pattern, and then if I go white overlay and change the file type to a PNG and then select OK. Always leave it at smallest and slow, interlace none, and then select OK. So it's still say it's, it's finished saving. So if I create a new layer, it's going to hide these other layers, I can then navigate to where I have that saved, so it's just appeared up here. I can left click and drag, and I can now use that in my designs. So for example, if I wanted to create a pattern um, that I was going to sell it as a digital paper, I would simply add a new layer, hide that one, choose whatever color that I want, I'll just go with this blue, make sure foreground selected, left click to apply the color, left click and drag to bring it behind my overlay layer, turn that layer back on, I've now got a white overlay with this colored background. That is how you make an overlay white.